Hi everyone, it's my 2015 favourites time. I do these every year and I wasn't sure this year if you guys were interested, but I tweeted and you all definitely wanted 2015 favourites. I did warn you in my vlog though that most of the things are high end and a lot hasn't really changed since last year. So what I'm gonna do, which I think I also did last year, is list below all the products that I still love from last year's video because there's lots of favorites that aren't gonna pop up in here and that's because I'm still loving them and not much has actually changed since last year. But there are some new products. They don't feel new anymore because some of them came out at the beginning of the year, but products that I have been loving and using all year. And although I know everyone does these videos and they get a bit boring, I guess it's quite helpful to see in one video what my kind of all time favorites from 2015 are. So I've got a giant bag of stuff here that I'm just gonna like dig in, in no particular order and just pick some stuff to talk about. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I had the individual powders for a while but it took me a little while to get the palette and I really love this palette. I often just kind of swish the brush and use all three together they're highlighting luminous powders that I tend to put on my cheekbones or just all over my face really and they add a beautiful soft gentle glow. The Lorac Pro palette I finally picked it up when I was in America kind of halfway through the year and it's a really great eyeshadow palette. There's a reason why everyone raves about it. It's got beautiful warm tones in it. The gold and the light bronze are my two favorites. They're really really pretty and there's some nice kind of deeper browns and plums as well. It's a great palette, I love the packaging. I'm really happy I picked that up. Another eyeshadow palette that I've been using a lot this year is the Viseart Matte Palette. And I didn't use it that much when I first bought it, but this year I've been using it a lot. It's all matte eyeshadows, so it's really easy to use. You can use it with other eyeshadow palettes. Just a really good selection of kind of warm browns. There's a couple of cool tones, but most of it is warm and really pretty. I love the ones in the middle there. The concealers I've been using in all my tutorials and most of the year are the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher. This is a really, really nice hydrating concealer. It's one of those twist up pens. I'm either shade two if I want something lighter or three if I want something a bit darker. The only problem with this is you don't know when you're gonna run out, but I always just repurchase straight away because I really like this. And then the other concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Skin, which is such good coverage. You only need to dip it in once to do your entire face. I wish there were more colors because the color range doesn't really suit me but it's a really good concealer and I think this is definitely better than the NARS one. I also fell in love with H&M Beauty this year. I was so impressed with their makeup range. I've been raving about it since it came out. I have really fallen in love with their eyeshadows. The cream eyeshadows are such good formulas, very similar to the Estee Lauder ones that I really like. They last really well, easy to apply, so I've really enjoyed the cream eyeshadows, but also the single eyeshadows are definitely worth picking up. This is the golden one in Mbachi de Dharma, I think it is and it's a beautiful gold that I've been using so much since I bought it. The quality of these are so much better than I had expected. I've been using this lip combo all year. I love it, you guys know what it is. It's MAC Saw Lip Pencil and MAC Mare Lipstick. It's like a slightly berry nude. It's kind of hard to explain. It's different to any other lipsticks that I have really got in my collection. And it just seems to go with everything, which is why I wear it so often. It goes with any outfit, it goes with a day look, with a night look. It's a matte formula, so it lasts really, really well, and it just makes your lips look really plump. So I've been loving that combo this year. In the summer, I really enjoyed using the cream bronzer from YSL. These are called the Sahari N, and they're really interesting, very different. It's a cream bronzer, so I used the Real Techniques contour brush, and I applied that, and you kind of like, work it and buff it into the skin and I found that it was the most natural way to bronze up in the summer because I hate layering on powder products in the summer. I think it looks so powdery, it looks like you're wearing so much makeup. So this way was really natural and I, I really loved using it. It's a huge dent and I never thought I would like something like this so I would definitely be using that again in the warmer months. The foundation that I've probably been using the most this year apart from ones that I've already mentioned in last year's video is the NARS Sheer Glow. It has a by Terry lid on it at the moment because NARS don't really do lids. This is just such an easy foundation to wear. I feel like it gives me the perfect amount of coverage for day or night. It looks really natural on the skin, but covers any imperfections, and it's the one I always go back to. I use the shade Duville, and it's such a great foundation. Becca collaborated with Jacqueline Hill, who's an American YouTuber this year, to release Champagne Pop, which is a highlighter, and literally, it like nearly broke the internet. They did so well with it. I don't know if it was the collaboration with Jacqueline Hill, or if the product was just great, but either way, the highlighter is amazing, I love it. I have two because I'm so scared of one breaking. It's like a beautiful golden peach highlighter. It's definitely my favorite highlighter for my entire collection. I use it like every day, even though it's quite intense and it's probably more suitable just for the evenings. 
I use it all the time because I'm just addicted to it. It's so beautiful. It's a sort of highlighter that actually shows up on your skin. This is my second bottle of the Estee Lauder CC Cream and I've been using this most of the year as well. I tend to mix it with my foundation. In the summer, I sometimes wore it alone, but most of the time I mixed it to make my foundation more kind of hydrating and dewy. And it's also slightly tinted, so it does make my skin look slightly more bronze. I just became addicted to this and I don't really know what it is, but it does something great to my skin and I just love using it with my foundation just to make it a bit more movable and blendable. I don't think I've put these in previous yearly favourite videos so although I haven't worn them that much towards the end of this year I had to include them because they are both really great. The Sephora Lip Cream and the Kat Von D Lip Creams. These are both from Sephora in America and they're so, so good. I haven't worn them a lot recently but they're still definitely my favourites. They're like a lip lacquer so you apply it um, and it just stays put so well without drying out your lips. And for a red lip, I will always go for these or my Charlotte Tilbury matte lipstick, but these are really great. I find the Kat Von D ones slightly more drying, but I think they've got a better choice of colors. I've got some more lipsticks here to talk about as well. Clinique um, released these lipsticks this year, and there are so many different colors, some really nice shades. One I wore a lot in the summer is Poppy Pop. It's kind of like a... I don't even know, it's like somewhere between a red and a pink and a coral, but it's very flattering. I really enjoyed wearing it, very hydrating and moisturizing, easy to wear, and I wore this a lot in the summer. I also absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury's Matte Revolution lipsticks, and love Liberty, it's such a gorgeous, plummy, deep shade, it's quite different. Again, I can wear it for the day or for the evening, and I wear this one a lot. I mean, I've kind of got heart gone over half, and I hardly ever finish lipsticks. And then Chanel also released loads of lipsticks and so many amazing shades. These are like hydrating lipsticks. They're the Rouge Cocos and Adrian is a really beautiful nude. I find it quite hard to find the perfect nude that doesn't wash me out, but this one is the perfect nude and I've gone through one of these already, which is mad. I had no interest in trying the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, probably because of the name. I think it is a ridiculous name and it kind of put me off, but I don't remember why. I eventually tried it and I really fell in love with it. I like how the packaging is kind of weighted, it makes it easier to apply. The brush is ridiculously huge and I really wouldn't think that I like this, but it just makes my lashes look fat. It really makes them look full of volume. It's great for a night out, it's probably a bit too intense for the day, but this is definitely my night out mascara and I've enjoyed using it a lot. So I'm kind of leaving it just with makeup, but I just thought I'd add in one perfume favourite. Um, this is the Fresh Fig Apricot scent and I absolutely love this. I'm going to spray some on now. It's so fresh and light and delicious and reminds me of my mum. I really, really like this perfume. And that's it, I kind of whizzed through those, but as I said, there's so many favorites from last year that I'm still loving. So I'm gonna leave a list of all the favorites that I still like from last year's video, and I'll leave the link to last year's video and the years before as well in the description box. So maybe there are some products in there that you haven't yet tried that you wanna give a go in the new year. Let me know if we have any of the same favorite products. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.